Hey everybody, this is Mike, and I'm here with Lou Ferrigno. Good morning. Good Lou. afternoon. <laughs> and I'm on California time. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, thank you for coming on the show. You're welcome. Uh, Lou, somebody doesn't know, he's doing the Rhode Island Comic Con this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You'll be here, right? Yeah, the show open tomorrow, three o'clock to nine o'clock, and then of course over the weekend. I'll be here all three days. Yep. So now you know. Make sure get your tickets RhodeIslandComicCon.com and meet Lou Ferrigno. Uh, is this your first time in Rhode Island, by the way? Yes. Yes, I believe so. I've never been here before, and uh, I know I've been in Boston, but never this far. Yeah. How do you like it so far? Great people are nice, thank God. <laughs> not as much snowing yet. No, no, we've been blessed with uh, your not. California like I weather know, for a few days. I do not like snow. No. I mean, I heard you, you poor people that you know, suffered like feet of snow, not inches, you got like feet of snow. I heard it, it snowed like in Boston, almost like in June. Uh, not yeah. in June, but yeah, in April we got some snow. And yeah. I remember the same time last year yeah. was the Patriots Broncos day and was working and it wow. was snowing, so. <laughs> I don't think so. No, no, not at all. So, uh, first question I have to mind is the evolution of Hulk. I mean, you were the, the original Hulk, the Incredible Hulk. How do you think the character of Hulk has transformed over the years to what it's now Hulk and the Avengers? Well, it's grown because it's a bigger franchise. I remember it started at the beginning with the first successful comic character on TV, and then now the legacy 40 years because every generation embraces it, and everybody loves the Hulk because every one of us has a little Hulk inside of us. And then, like, when I came back, we do the Hulk again, like the return of the Hulk, we have the character Thor, we had Daredevil, and they realized that why not venture into, like, have all the superheroes, and now we have the Avengers. Mm -hmm. but but the fact that Hulk is more popular than ever, I mean, it's like every person on the planet knows the Hulk. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody. How does it feel to be the original? It feels great because the teacher, <laughs> I can't sign autographs. Yeah. I can't. Yeah, it, it's a mold that's broken and never be replaced. It's just like the original Twilight Zone Star Trek. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm very happy to be the only surviving person because I'm a Hulk fairy, uh, Bill Capton, Jack yeah. Golden. So I'm very flattered. Even though I've done over 40 films, I've done three different TV series. Mm -hmm. But it was amazing that people just I do identify me with the Hulk because I don't mind being part of it for the rest of my life. Yeah, it looks like that's never going to go away. Now, to become the character of the Incredible Hulk, you went up. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's, that's the new Hulk calling you, probably. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone says You're that. Right. Yeah. So uh, now, to become. Uh, to be cast to that character of the Incredible Hulk, you went up against your pal Arnold Schwarzenegger, who's an icon in the movies, you know, he was the governor, and I know you trained with him for bodybuilding. What was it like competing with Arnold? Uh, for people that never met Arnold, uh, I mean, if you could tell a little bit about it. How, like, what is he like? Is he very competitive? Like, what was it like? Well, competing with him and now, and pumping iron, of course, he's like five and a half years older than me. I was happy to be on the same stage because at the time he was Mr. Olympia and I wanted to be Mr. Olympia. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of fun because, uh, you know, I, as a little boy, as a little kid, I could read about him in the magazine and then whoosh, I ended up skyrocketing right on stage with him. And, um, you know, God bless him, him going to politics. I'd rather be a police officer because I don't want to go into politics and get stabbed in the back every time he turns and walk away. Yeah. So uh, I've seen him time to time and, uh, and he's been a great body builder. Mm -hmm. So, no requests on him about you uh, beating him to be the Incredible Hulk? Well, he, he, he felt that I should play the part because he yeah. felt more suited to play the part because yeah. he wanted to go in the movies. And uh, of course, I, I won the screen test because I was the first person to play. Yeah, gotcha. Okay. And now, uh, going back, we're talking about Arnold and bodybuilding. So, uh, Reeves was your inspiration to get into bodybuilding, and I know one of the things is uh, I was reading about you being bullied when you were younger, a teenager, and you know it inspired you to bodybuild and become who you are today. You know the uh, the original Hulk, the Incredible Hulk. Uh, what would you say to the young teenagers, young adults uh, watching this interview who are being bullied? Um, what kind of advice can you give them to overcome? Because you, you know, you did that yourself, so. Well, I, I, I get a when I was young, when I was bullied, I took out my anger working out the gym. Yeah. But my uh, answer to the young kid today, people that are bullied, it could be a teacher, it could be a brother, it could be a sister, go to the store, bring up the bully situation, don't internalize it, keep it to yourself because there's no harm in yourself. Mm -hmm. And I think the best thing is sometimes, sometimes the bully I feel got more insecurity than you may have. Mm -hmm. So it's important to, uh, for them to, have an intervention or contact the bully person himself 
that what his the consequences he's uh, caused her. Obviously, it had to do with rape, molestation, it had to do with anger, it had to do with rejection. It's important because that person themselves, if they're bullied in whatever way I just mentioned, they need to have that direct contact, go to the family, go to the teacher, go to the principal, and please do it because if you don't, you're gonna end up penalizing yourself and you're gonna be the victim. Yeah, great message right there. Um, now, you started uh, the Ferrigno Fit, was that about 2009, I believe? Yeah, my daughter and I, FerrignoFit.com, it teaches you how to become a personal trainer. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, like 99 dollars for three months, anywhere in the world, any body, any type, I don't care what kind of shape you're in, you got meal plans, how to exercise, book a deal, uh, you know, in the home or go to the gym, whatever, you, there's no reason why you can't be in shape. It's wonderful, because a lot of people don't want to have a personal trainer. Mm -hmm. Now, how do people sign up for this, and was it your... Did you decide to start for it? No, was it your daughter? Was it both? It was my daughter because I've been training people for years. Mm -hmm. I can't train the whole world. I don't no. have the time now, but yeah. she's a personal trainer. She came up with the idea of first she models it and she was taking up the website. So she started for mm -hmm. And if you want to tell anybody watching this how they can sign up for this program. Just go on ForRignoFit.com. Just log on and just uh, it tells you what to do, where to go. If you want to join up, and let me tell you, it will change your body. Mm -hmm. And you enjoy it at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, you heard it. Make sure you sign up for RignoFit.com. Uh, now, what does it feel like to be inspiration, uh, to be f fit motivator for others? It feels great because I feel like when I was a kid, I more than anything I wanted to do was to feel like a speak. I wanted admiration, respect. And back then in my time when I was young, I was kind of like a shallow sport. Mm -hmm. like if you talk about working out, people will look at your face. Why are you building muscles? You have muscles in your brain. So back then it was different 50 years ago, but now everybody's been working out. I mean, I don't care what shape you're in. You got Hollywood actors. You got, uh, you know, any, any any person, any handicap, no reason whatsoever. So it's just the fact that connecting your mind with your body, mm -hmm. because it only makes you feel more positive, more disciplined by yourself. Gotcha. The last question I'm going to ask you is, uh, you know, you're a former Mr. Universe. Uh, you know, you won bodybuilding championships. You've done movies. What do you prefer? I know you're really into fitness, obviously. But do you, for, for movies over fitness, do you like them both? Uh, you know, what's your preference? Well, that's a good question because I much prefer movies, but I enjoy the fitness because now my family, my son and I promote this concept to be a Palm Springs, the big bodybuilding fitness show we mm -hmm. And we have 400 competitors, so he's taking to the next level. But I enjoy making movies, like my last movie called Instant Death, where I'm like a vigilante to kind of getting the game. Yeah. But I enjoy getting the chance to escape with these different characters. It's completely different because Bodybuilder, I love it to death because of my passion for look good. I like mm -hmm. working out. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you heard it over here. Uh, once again, Lou Ferrigno. He'll be appearing at the Rhode Island Comic Con this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at the Rhode Island Convention Center and Dunkin' Donuts Center. I don't know if they put you in which one. I know it's huge this year. No, I'll be, in, I'll be in the celebrity section. I think there's uh, two sections for yeah. the celebrity. And I, I don't think you have a problem finding me. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't think you'll find a problem finding Lou Ferrigno at all, so. Thank you okay. so much Thank for you the too. interview. Thank okay. you for your time and Thank good you. luck with everything. Thank you.